All right, all right. We're going to do the USSR game. It's time. It's time. Fucking Jesus Christ, guys. I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. It's the USSR Atomic Heart game time, okay? I told you I was going to do it. I fucking promise. I'm going to do it. I'm not I'm not bailing on it, okay? Chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Everyone's freaking the fuck out over here. Why would I take the lights off? Install shaders? Oh, fuck. Is it going to install shaders? God damn it. I did not do any of that. I just, I'm turning it on for the first time ever. It'll install it quick. Donate one tank to Ukraine per death, please. It made me feel less bad. Wait, why? Professional streamer, by the way? Okay, shut the fuck up. Okay. It's not your fault. This dog shit is how games exist now. Download shaders just to play in game and then the fucking game runs like shit. Okay. So is this Ukrainian killing simulator? No, it's not. Um, it, this is however, uh, made by Russian devs. Okay. Uh, the game is made by Russian devs, so it was like controversial, I guess, because everyone loves doing consumer activism. The game is on Game Pass, um, which ironically, of course, like EFT is made by Russian devs as well, but everybody likes playing EFT, so no one really talks about that. And um, the game runs really well and has Robussy. It's really good. Really super wonderful stream today, Hasi. Thank you. Yeah. People were saying it to play with Russian VO and English subtitles because the English VO is kind of grating. I'm going to try it all. I'm going to try it all. This game plays like it's from the 2010 era. Okay. Once the, uh, once the shaders are 100% optimized, I'm going to lower the fucking, uh, the, the, I'm going to lower the, uh, the, the graphics and everything. But from what I understand, I think one of the head people that worked on this game was XCO, the bank that mainly funds the war. I think that's where the controversy comes from. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about the controversy in and of itself other than the fact that it's like, uh, it, it's a, it's a Russian dev team and uh, people were making connections to how this like game funds the war or something. Uh, ultimately, you know, plays this but won't play hogwarts yeah bro because this is i mean hogwarts in and of itself is not expressly transphobic if it was expressly transphobic i'd probably play the game uh i'd probably play the game on stream just to fucking see what the fuck the the hype was about i also don't think that this game is expressly fucking uh you know pro-russian war but the worst thing that this game is, as far as I understand, it's kind of mid. And let's be real. You can't have a fucking mid-ass game. Okay? That's the one thing you can't do. You can't make a fucking mid-ass game. I'm going to turn off. Oh, fucking Max? No, I'm turning that off. Let's see if the windowed works. Is it alt enter? 
Okay. Now, as soon as I saw, before we get started, as soon as I saw this game, as soon as I saw the gameplay video, because I was very excited about it. <laughs> I was very excited about it. Originally, because I thought it was going to be USSR Bioshock. Activate Swede reskin? What the fuck? Activate Electro reskin? What does that mean? Okay, well, I don't know what that is, but that's kind of weird. Okay. Um, but I was very excited about this originally. I thought it was going to be fire because, like... Where the fuck is the FOV, by the way? Okay, no FOV. Oh, depth of field. It's maxed. I thought it was USSR Bioshock. So I got fucking excited to play because I love Bioshock. It's political, that sort of thing. No FOV slider, sadly. Okay. But, you know, somehow it's a little bit more cringe than that, I think. Because it's Bioshock, but with Rick and Morty aesthetics. Depth of field and FOV are two different things. Okay, we're, we're going to take a look. I'm going to be as... I'm going to be as open-minded as you physically, humanly I really love possible. this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the... Okay, it's already running like dog shit on my fucking... It's already not running well on the... on. I'm going to switch over to game capture. Everybody calm down. Switching over to game capture real quick. Before everyone freaks the fuck out. Round up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can't it glove. I've been here before. Fixed it, right? Make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> what the fuck? Chelemay City floats on the Icarus platform. A feat of modern science and technology. What is this up with the FPS? The was built in 1950. It's like hurting my eyes. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Now get the hell out of here. It's just performing its function, Major. I'm sick to death of bots. Always up in my grill. English voice acting, right off the bat, very cringe. It's not very good. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Is that still working on the robot's navigation system? Yeah, I noticed. I mean, this is pretty sick so far, though. I do wow, love the. What a beautiful day. I do love the concept of the USSR, uh, you know, blossoming into this wonderful. What's up with your Volvo's Wonderful box nation. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. You got ladders everywhere. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Why the fuck are they all speaking in, uh, with a... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I, that was weird. I thought that was weird. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. 
I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. This is a historically accurate depiction of the USSR if the Cold War never You've happened. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. I mean, There's a this... turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Is it dropping frames on the, on the stream? Because on my monitor, it's fine. On my OBS, it's fine. <laughs> But I can't tell if it's like dropping frames on on stream or not, especially when I move around quickly. Comrades, Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. Good day, comrade. Come closer. Get I'm here to help. Straight away. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. No thanks. I'm all set. Is that a robot? What the fuck? Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major. May I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Comrade. Get yourself a thought, or your life will come to naught. It's almost like the sun is smiling down on my soldiers. Ma'am. Yeah, the like sun this. is smiling down Thank on us because we reached our maximum revolutionary potential, comrades. This is a true worker's utopia, okay? Where people do not work to generate profits for a boss, for a capital owner, but for themselves. Residents and visitors to Chalamet City, Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. Wonderful experience. near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You <laughs> been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Let's go! Okay, this game is sick. Okay, I take it back. I like this game, okay? So far, so good. Wait, I missed the statue of Marx and Lenin? I mean, Lenin's statue is normal. Oh, shit! Handsome lad, dude. Huh, I wonder why the game wasn't... S Wait, there's gotta be a statue of Stalin in here. Huh. Huh. So did de-Stalinization happen? The moment they connected me to collective, Oh, Lenin lived in this reality and then Stalin died? That's right, Poma. Never forget. Never forget anyone.
Oh my god, what the fuck? This is sick. Comrade Sechinov develops the polymers in 1936. A scientific miracle that determines the future of human course of civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. A pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, Sukhobliat. All of them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilov, Zakharov, Korolev, all these other people join forces forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. You fought in the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch crispy language, critters. Major. We're in a public place. Watch yeah, your whatever. language, Major. Don't say crispy critters. What the fuck? Comrade Sechinov and Filomenko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment, the future of the Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Realizing that the fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is no salvation for this monstrous pandemic and existing drugs are powerless against it in 1942. I like that they gave the robot a mustache. A worldwide state-sponsored program of the industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826. The apex of scientific progress in the home of the greatest scientists in the world. The collective 1.0 neural network. First global network brings together mankind's greatest achievements. Unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. The Soviet cosmo cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Okay, well they put a little bit of they put a little bit of truth, you know, a, a nugget, just a grain of truth. Yuri Gagarin. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out. I've got a question. Yes, comrade. How may I help? So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. Come on, let's play again. Then we'll play hot No thanks. I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. This is unnecessarily contentious towards this robots. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. I don't think this game is pro-communist, bro.
I think it's basically the exact same as you just Bioshock not being with pro scanner libertarian. functionality. Using the neuropolymer you know as a I conduit, mean? the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh. Activate the scanner, hold L all. Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Oh, Didn't it's so you corny. Say you were in a hurry just a moment ago. Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3820. Okay, can you turn the voice acting to... Russian, maybe? Wait, there's a streamer mode? Oops. Or does language not change it? Can, but it's kind of hard or difficult to. Okay, I, I want to keep this then. Six, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Wait, oh, I'm missing the Soviet bangers on streamer mode? Wait, what do you mean? That's it? Okay, I, I kind of don't care about streamer mode. I'll, 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 I'll fucking play it with. I'm not gonna change the menu. I'm not gonna change the menu. I'm not gonna change the audio from the main menu right now. Greetings, comrades. I am the BBC Sechenov, and this is facility 38. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest events in the history of mankind. Report to the we'll lobby of that high rise. Come just one just small step away, away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. Okay. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. Oh my God, the they're all Soviet. Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. There's no such thing as unskilled labor, and the fact that he said unskilled labor instead of like menial labor implies that this was uh, a game made by not leftists, but instead either he's like doing a giveaway or th that he's like, you know, actually a fake socialist or the game itself was written by 
uh, people who are not socialist at all. And they're just LARPing as socialists. Even the guy being like, oh, if I had a dollar, I would be a capitalist. Like that was, you know, that's corny. But that's definitely the type of like, yeah, they did the whole like rich means you would be a capitalist meme earlier, which could be lost in the translation maybe, or I don't know. Or, or he's like- Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering so glad to see you're you are taking it easy, speed. Comrade Major. Accessing the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Individual it's been left with one of his bodyguards. You yeah, naturally. will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal... If one more person tells me I have to go to the main menu to fucking change the VO to Russian, I'm just never going to play the game ever again. So... If you are a part of the coalition that thinks it's problematic to play the game, keep it up, okay? Please shut the fuck up, you unbearable fucking weebs for the USSR. Holy fuck, dude. It's just like unbearable. Shut up. Shut up. Okay? The voiceover is incredibly corny. I got it. Shut the fuck up. Thought device is made possible by a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to said the most leftist thing is that every joke is incredibly awful, and I agree. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0 our marvelous network will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get leftists are... Device. You know what it is? Leftists are so fucking unbearable that they literally want to read even when it's a fucking video game they were playing. That's why they want to do Russian. They're like, please turn on the Russian voiceover, not because it will help me get into it, but because I just love reading and I can LARP as though I'm reading theory. Okay. That's literally what it is. It's not even immersion. They just love reading. ...today and become homo futuro among the first. The future is already yours. Yo, pause, bro. Sus. Sus, bro. Caught in 4K, dog. You said homo futurum. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Are they taller than me? Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Okay. Uh, I'm sold on the bots. Oh. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So... What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. 
flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. It's very beautiful. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. The game now. is very visually appealing so far, I will admit. It, like, they, that is definitely sick. It's also cool as a concept because you rarely ever see, like, the perspective of America's designated enemies be at the forefront. Wait, this ain't a lot of what the fuck? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress though. What kind of fucking This one gas doesn't wait until they're all running on electricity. That would be something. It's Volga. Oh damn, top down, baby, let's go. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I just came from in every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of oh, from the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. No, go there back! There be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov, in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That sucks! That's more like it. Motherfucker said no politics, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is fucking terrifying. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me what? in. What? Wait, what? Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Bro, is this literally like reverse Wolfenstein where instead like the USSR won and you're like a German asset or something? What the fuck is happening, bro? What is happening? It's just like... Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way it's to remember Operation the days Paperclip when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by Bumblebee? Bro, you can't tell me the fucking writers of this game are not permanently brain broken by the corniest American fucking uh, cowboy movies, okay? This guy literally sounds like Duke Nukem. Okay, everything he's saying is like a fucking corny ass eighties, nineties action hero protagonist. Okay. I I came to this game with the expectation that this was going to be like unbroken, untainted by like Western neoliberal degeneracy. I thought that these were gonna be some fucking revolutionary motherfuckers who made a video game about the glorious USSR in a different future. Okay, fuck it. Even if it's like you know, talking about how the Soviet, uh, the Soviet was uh, lifestyle was awful, right? But even then, I thought at least the writing would have a very unique, 
the writing itself would have a very unique tint to it. As someone who grew up on Russian literature, growing up in Turkey, okay, Turgenev and the like, I understand that that is uh, very different and uh, and it is very dark at times, okay? But I, I thought that it would at least be different than like spoiled Western neoliberal uh, baby mode shit, okay? He just sounds like a fucking... The, the protagonist sounds like a fucking literal shitty action hero. And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, comrade major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Even if they're not leftists, I thought that their perspective and their attitude and the and the protagonist, like the vibes of the protagonist would be different. You know what I mean? Things that the protagonist finds to be cool, I thought would be different. I didn't realize he was gonna be like an unlikable American action hero. It's not even his accent. It's his is it's his attitude towards everything. Because you have to this remember is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11:47 a.m. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology okay, was pioneered by the Chelemey Design Department Give and a personal of project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Yeah, more of that, please. Okay, I like that. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Criticizing Andy for showing porn on stream, yeah, below, but the kind of porn I show you is train porn. Center, the main radio processing unit and, control and I don't mean running train, baby. Node. I mean running the top of the hour ad break. We are currently flying Got over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are Thank now you observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Lena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. 
Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this you world of revolutionary around. breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trova is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about your it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Comrade Major, I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Uh oh. Oh! What the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? What the fuck? I mean, I knew shit was going to go south, obviously, because, like, you know, the reason why I fucking despise robots has to be a good reason, right? Like, it was a reasonable suspicion that I had. Even in a perfect communist uh, utopian future... Dude, I hate this dude's haircut. Like, literally, I, I hate the way that the fucking main character looks. I'm just gonna say that. It straight up looks like he's balding and he wanted to still have that fucking fascist undercut. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, sprint. alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. Yeah, I'm killing chickens, whatever, dude. Yes. Suka bliat, it's chicken nugget time! Cock dealer, cock the best of wood. I bought a lottery ticket and now it's time to sail around the world. He's 
These guys are gonna come after me, I suspect. Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? How can I dodge? Oh, shift dodges? Dodge attacks, press L shift while moving. Behind, Suka Bliat, fuck you. God, I hate robots. Oh shit. Wait, that's it? Wait, what the fuck? This guy can tank damage, bro. Let's see if I can make. Moves. I guess not. It just sprays it with the uh, red. Officer down. Can you break other objects? No. Holy oh, shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Davidoff complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Until then, do not answer the door or interact with the robot. Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? That's a robot, dog. Why the fuck Shut are you... Up. Gonna grab me. Shit! Uh, get away from me! God, this motherfucker kicks, dude. Oh, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck off me. What? Babushka. What are you looking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me your hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh god, that accent. I did not see that you accent. You should be coming. more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are what? you? Me? What a conversation. Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? What the fuck? Here we go. Beefcake? Riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Do I get a gun? 
Give me a gun, Babushka! Ready. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! I don't like that we didn't do anything there. Like, she just did all the combat. The music is like the most redeeming. Qu what? What a goddamn clusterfuck. Okay, I gotta go pee, but the music is the most redeeming factor in this entire process. Let's see what the combat's like. The combat's like a little clunky, so. Wake up! Wake up! Sukobliat! Sleeping is counter-revolutionary. Wait, what? Oh, there's a motherfucker in there. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department with it. I want to fucking, I, I want to hear the guy. I, there's so much voices going on. The Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. How do I open this fucking hey, door? Are you there? On the other side of the door. Is, is somebody there? Come on, hurry up! This place is dangerous! I can get killed! Bro, this guy never shuts the fuck up except for when there's a guy asking for help. That's crazy. There are so many dead people here. What the hell is this about? Like what? Are these trenches? Boxes. 
can't. Hey, are you there? All you Shut the fuck Just up, bro. Turn the handle and open the door. I don't understand. Did this thing just happen? Like, this is what's confusing to me. If this, like, crazy moment just happened... Oh, fuck, I have no ammo. If this crazy thing just happened, like, why are there so many dead bodies? Like, don't spoil it, I guess. Save areas, okay. Saving data. Cartoon break. There's a button to collect all your loot? Isn't it F? And the machines rose for Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks and knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press L shift to dodge. Yeah, she's... Oh, shit. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a... Collecting resources en masse. There's a lot. Press F without releasing F. This will collect all the surge are especially dangerous. And they knock you down. Shit on a Wait, where am I? Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, he knocked me into this fucking room. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items. He, does he not shut the fuck up, dude? Holy shit. Oh my god, there's so much audio. There, it's like... It's like assaulting my senses at... It, 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 fucking Christ, dude. Yo, what the fuck? The aud the game literally has the game literally has a problem with like audio mixing, sound mixing. It's like overstimulating me, dude. What the fuck? I've never seen voice lines overlap this much. It's within it then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Yeah, got it. See, that's a really good joke. I'm glad that, that they had to feature that. Okay. Order from Comrade Sechinov. All employees, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization. The response to your inquiry, there is my evaluation. Mental state, nervous, impulsive, working at Plitz... Blissetskaya Theater has had an obvious effect in the psychological state. Unofficially, Petrov has been losing his marbles for a while now. Granny Zina. The fact that Zinaida Murovkova, aka Granny Zina, is not allowed to enter or approach the sapling warehouse without authorization. Comrade Murayova has previously taken seeds of saplings from experimental flowers.
P.S. Do not react to Granny Zina's rudeness. Behave yourselves. Comrade Sechenov about the incident in the germination workshop. Cordon off the hospital where the victim is being treated. Let no one into the ward after the other than medical personnel and Comrade Sechenov. Wait, there's mail? Okay, I'm not gonna read all this, but... Oh, the mail is what we just read. Oh, at least if you like press F a lot, it just like makes the loot collection much easier. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade- Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Holy fuck, this game is so good for loot goblins, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I'm loving the loot mechanic. I'm sure it'll get old soon, but... I'm loving the loot mechanic so far, baby. Wait, this guy beat my ass through the door? Where the fuck did I even come from? Oh, from back there. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Oh god damn it. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it was a spam. You <laughs> know, Italian robots, they deserve it. Come on. Why is that? Why are there horseshoes inside of these fucking. I'm literally picking up horseshoes, man. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? You never know when you need a spare, yeah. A lot of people don't understand. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Last night, Assistant Sokpnitskev and Lepushkin taped a photograph of Sechenov to Vova and allowed her to wander around the walls in the state. Janitor Nefedova passed out when this Vova looked through at her through a window. Give them an official reprimand. Come on, comrade, this is okay. I missed the inciting incident. Did the USA hack the robot? This game would be fire if the United States actually hacked the robot, but I doubt that that's what's going on. I must do this just in case. You never know. 
spot these robots. Prisoner number, correctional facility, topical work tropical workshop, hardworking, extrovert, loud, order. I have the following employees from pesticide workshop, escort victim A, Neyalova. I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of comrade Stalin's purges are over. It is the Stalinization. What the fuck? Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilov have committed various crimes. But they are still human beings. And they're still our comrades. How we treat them here will determine whether or not they learn a lesson in their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. Wow! They're saying we are rehabilitating them, re-educating them to understand and abide by the revolutionary principles they will no longer betray I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly let me remind you that this is neither a penal colony nor a prison be kinder my friends <laughs> How will they get license plates made? I don't know, brother. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. How do I rotate? Attention. I don't think it's in the key binds. Wait, what? No, it's not like it, it's moving, but it's not letting me rotate. I don't know why. Bro, there is no way they fucking eliminated a goddamn keybind, bro. There's no way that I just like started the game without a keybind, okay? That's such a, that's such a weirdly, oh my god, that's such a hard to fucking interpret. How the fuck, that's a crazy way to do this. Like, it, literally the least intuitive way to do that. Oh my god, that's crazy. I know I'm a bad gamer and all, but like... That is unironically not a very intuitive way. Is there an enemy here? Good, you haven't experienced locks before? No. Bro, the game literally doesn't even tell you how to do it, which is fine. I mean, I don't even like game care. Oh! What? Oh! So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team 
at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Okay, I'm getting, I'm understanding the lore now. Academy of Consequences is the Prisoner Academy. This is why socialism doesn't work, lol. Chess Club. Yeah, I smell a cover up, I'm not gonna lie. Why are you moving, bro? Chill. How do I grab? Dude, come on. You can grab those. You can fucking grab those, bro. Those are shotgun shells. Look up. Oh. Nope, there's no way to go there from here. Where? Oh, what the fuck? Why didn't they show up? What the fuck? Why didn't they show up on my radar? Oh. Okay, fuck you. No! Oh god, I'm so quick. Wait, gun! Gun! Fuck! One bullet! What? Suck my dick, dude. Bro, the bodies keep moving on their own. It's freaking me the fuck out. Fuck you, dude. Why don't they show up as like moving objects on my scanner? I actually don't understand that. They're red? No, they weren't red when I was running. They were not red when I was... There are no atheists on the map. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Oh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't, he no longer believes he's, he's afraid. Oh, come on! We did a hanging combat. Yeah, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, give me a break. I'm pressing G. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. It's stuck. Uh-oh. The game bro. Nice. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. 
How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. It's not that bad. It's not like Something the end of the wrong. world. Oh shit! The dialogue's like off. The dialogue's bad, but it's not like what the fuck is this? The English voiceover is bad. The dialogue is not like the end of the world though. I don't know. I mean, come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. What? Suka Bliat, even Russia has been impacted by they them non binary comrades. How many fingers? Uh. Why does why does she have feminist hair? Get the fucking politics out of my video game. Four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God <laughs> damn. You could have just said your name, forceps. idiot. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on Get it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. <sighs> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! I don't want to die! Wait, why didn't you just zap Holy me? shit! Avoid the beam! Wait, what the fuck? Oh god. Ah! Fuck! No! I can't dodge and do the- I'm just getting started. What the fuck? Terminated. Charles. Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. How the fuck did I actually figure out uh, what her name is? I, I understand. Did she say it? I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it over the 7 million fucking things that are happening the game okay I did not hear it anyway this is where I'm gonna end it though okay comrades the revolutionary potential of the game why do you think people hate the game so much uh it's really fucking corny I think that's probably what it is. It is incredibly corny. Like, the dialogue is, like, exceptionally cornball status. Which is kind of disappointing because I really thought that it was going to be really good. At first. And then I saw the gameplay. I mean, I, I'll keep playing it. It's fun. That's definitely... It's definitely fun. Right? I will not be playing the Russian dub. It, the game auto saved. No, delete it. Why? The problem with the fucking dialogue is that it's just like, it's incredibly corny. And it's like very soy Reddit corny. It's like very Marvel. Every fucking game is like Marvel. Like, I now realize why so many iconic games just don't have the protagonist speak. 
whether it be Gordon, whether it be like, uh, you know, do the Bioshock, Bioshock, I don't think speaks even, right? Blink, Elden Ring. Yeah, he spoke in infinite, and it was literally the most, it was more corny than the other one, so yeah. Dog, these games ain't for kids. What the fuck they doing trying to be like Marvel? Bro, come on. There's still a component of like playability for rated E for everyone or even PG-13, that sort of shit. Even rated R is for everybody. Come on, let's be real. I don't know. I just, uh, I'm a little, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I will see you guys tomorrow as always, okay? Love you guys. Peace. See you tomorrow. Bye. LGBTQ Air Force The hole left at your fingertips On the at your door The H3 crowded up Bait the Young Turks online show Three full fucking years of this Plenty more to go Ninety day fiance talks of champagne, bourgeoisie, a Trump rally live reaction on mass riot at DC.